Thank you for joining me this Tuesday for an update of what Miami-Dade County is doing to deal with the impact of COVID-19. So far, the numbers indicate that we may not reach a surge of the size that health experts had indicated was possible in their modeling. The number of available beds and ventilators at hospitals remain steady in the daily reports that they are filing with the county. That's good news, but it's not definitive. We must always be prepared for the worst, even as we start planning for better days and moving to a new normal. So we're operating on two parallel fronts in Miami-Dade County, always focused on the health and safety of our residents based on the best medical advice possible. As I mentioned yesterday, Miami-Dade County is putting together working groups on two initiatives, to draw plans to be ready for a new normal and eventually to start up our economy again. Not today, not next week, not all in one big sweep, but we will move slowly and methodically to ease some restrictions when the right time comes. And medical experts will be part of that process every step of the way. Fortunately, our COVID-19 numbers in Miami-Dade show that we might already be tamping down the curve. This doesn't mean relaxing our safer at home policy or social distancing. On the contrary, for now, our best protection against this virus continues to be staying safer at home. And if you must go out to do something essential, practice social distancing. In the meantime, I am setting up virtual meetings with a cross-section of health experts and community leaders to discuss what can be done to eventually ease up on certain restrictions. Again, this will be a thoughtful and deliberate process that will involve health experts at every step. Tomorrow, Wednesday, we will have our first virtual meeting to discuss parks and open spaces and what would be the conditions needed to make some recommendations to start unwinding some rules, but only if our health experts deem it to be appropriate and any rules that would be eased up at some time in the future would be followed up by strong enforcement. Again, this is the first of many more meetings planned and there will be no changes made on the fly. We will follow the Wednesday meeting with a town hall, likely on Friday, to get our residents input. Our community's health continues to be my top concern. I want to remind everyone about CDC guidelines on using cloth masks at essential businesses such as grocery stores and pharmacies and at construction sites. Using face coverings or masks inside essential businesses are a mandatory requirement in our county for both employees and customers. I also want to emphasize that you should not throw away your used masks or gloves on the ground. This is happening around downtown and Brickell areas. This is a huge health risk. It is littering, which is a misdemeanor and carries a $100 fine. And remember, even people with masks who feel perfectly healthy can transmit COVID-19. So everyone, keep your distance of at least six feet and do everything in your power to stay safer at home. Thank you. May God bless all of you.